Okay, you guys. Happy Sunday. Hope y'all feeling safe, feeling love, feeling blessed. Hope you ain't feeling no stress. And if it is, I hope that it becomes less. Okay? Take get it, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? If the shoe doesn't fit, don't put it on. Don't force it, okay? And if this ain't your vibe, then you just might not be my tribe. But I do appreciate you guys for stopping by. And if this is your vibe, then go ahead and hit that subscribe, okay? So like I said, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? This is just a general message. What comes up, what comes out, okay? Whatever the Holy Spirit wants for us to know, hear, see, feel, smell, taste today, okay? I'm hearing an old school song, Come On In The Room. Let's see, what else today? Let's see, what we got? Let's see, let's see. What's going on today? Woo! Nature. Hmm. Maybe getting outside in nature. We got the nature card here. Hmm. Hmm. Something natural. I'm getting Sagittarius energy from this. Hmm. Africa. Maybe um, what I'm getting from this is like someone is needing to do like a fruit fast. You know, like only eat fruits. Somebody's aiming for something. Somebody is shooting towards something. Let's see what else is going on here. Somebody has their eye on something. Mm. We got pay attention. You guys. Mm. Let me get one more. Oh, we got solitude. Hermit energy. The light bearer. So somebody here is getting some kind of... Um, I feel like somebody here is receiving downloads. You're receiving information. Your, your natural ability to receive information here. Somebody here is in some kind of solitude. This is giving me Virgo energy. I got Sagittarius and Virgo energy so far. Um, hmm. Someone here is like alone. Or you're, you're interesting. Let's get some more. What's to pay attention? That's what I was thinking. So your highest self is, is trying to get your attention here. About what? About what? Mm, we got nature and nurture. So there's something about your body here. Because the food had my attention. There's something about your body. Give me more. There could be some health issues that you may be facing. Ooh. Something to do with your stability. Emperor energy, Aries energy here, boss energy. So I'm getting some of you guys could be in a period of fasting. You could be taking time out to yourself. Maybe you're in a period of isolation. Well, you're not really going out. You're not doing anything. You're not really talking to a lot of people. You're kind of just taking time to yourself here. What's the stability? It just keeps... Something's, some, something's going to fall right in your lap. Is what I'm getting. Something, something is going to fall right in your lap. What's the stability? This could have something, something that something could literally fall in your lap or something could, um, you know, come your way. That's going to help you be more stable. What's the stability? Hmm, we got compassion here. What's the stability card? This is someone who's meditating in a dry space. And we have memory. Hmm. I'm getting, don't forget who you are. Yeah, we got accountability here. So whoever you are, I feel like somebody here, you're being either guided or you're, this is what you're doing, okay? But you're being told to have, um, somebody here is taking accountability for themselves and the life and the position that they are in at this time. Somebody here is remembering who they are. You're 
somebody here you you being told to be compassionate with yourself or do things with compassion we got this card here this is also giving me like the strength card you know say telling you to have faith about this okay Somebody here, your creative expression is going to um, bring you some kind of happiness. Tell me more. It's something that you're about to do. So I feel like people could have their eye on you. Let me see. Okay, we got tradition and key. Yeah, I feel like whatever this is, you're unlocking something here. Maybe you're unlocking your Akashic records. Okay, you're remembering some things about who you are in a past life. Maybe you're being handed some things. Maybe you're being handed the keys to something here, okay? Something traditional? Tell me more. Yeah, you be, you're being given something to, to do. Somebody could be giving you the keys to a house, maybe a home. A family home is what I'm getting from this too. But you, you're being given permission to act upon something, to do something. Okay, to create something. Is what I'm getting from this, okay? I don't know. Some of you could be smokers too. But you're being told. You're being guided to do something. Whatever this is that you're being given here, okay? You're being given something. So I don't know if you're about to create something here. Traditional. I don't know. What you doing? Somebody could even be in real estate. But I feel like whatever this is, you're remembering something. And I guess, I guess you're like well, waking up to who you are, you know? Let's see. What else? Okay, yeah, things are coming into balance. Some of you could have been at a, in between a rock and a hard place, okay? And now you're coming into a more stable position. What else? Things are balancing out for you, whatever it is. Maybe you're balancing out. I hear pH. Somebody's balancing out their pH. You need to drink some alkaline water. Yeah, this is about self-care. This is about yourself here. This is about loving on you, loving on who you are. This is this person is writing a love letter to their future self. But this could even be, like I said, like somebody here is waking up to their um, Akashic records. They're waking up to who they are. They're remembering who they were in a past life. And they're starting to, this could be a spiritual awakening where someone is, is you know, realizing, okay, I have a, a spiritual purpose here. It's more than just this physical here. Tell me more. Somebody's awakening to who they are with the sexuality card here. I'm getting Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. You're embracing your energy. Yeah, look, we got protection here. You're protected. Maybe this is you protecting yourself, protecting your sexual energy, okay? You know, being abstinent, you know? Being reserved um, with your sexual energy here. What else? What else, spirit? Yeah, we got I can look up. We got look up. I said I can. So you're being told to look up, look up on the brighter side of things. Somebody's feeling like when it rains, it pours. But when it rains, it's actually watering things to grow. So you got to look at things from the glass half full and not half empty. I'm somebody here. I'm going through something at this time. What else? Okay, we got peace. Yeah, look at this. You see how she's looking in the mirror? This has something to do with how you see yourself. Because we, you you got this right here. Looking in the mirror. Looking in the mirror at oneself. How you see yourself. How do you see you? It's It doesn't matter about how other people see you. What's important is how you see yourself. So where do you see yourself, you know, in, in, in the near future? How do you bring in peace within you? How do you find peace within Let's see what else we got here. Somebody's second guessing themselves. So yes, yeah, look, somebody's creative. You're very much creative. So I guess you're looking looking inside of you to create. I, I shared a, a video earlier today. It talked about the greatest. Uh, well, not talked about. I put the song on there by Whitney Houston. The greatest love of all is inside of you. Inside of you. So it's something that's being created on the inside of you that you're going to be uh, letting out. Let's see what else we got here. Anything else from this deck? Okay. Um, yeah, you, you're, you're being connected with your inner self, with the magic inside of you. Mm -hmm. Look, celebration is here. What's the celebration? 
Maybe you're going to be connecting with friends. You guys are going to be celebrating a win here or something together. Look, music. So, or this could have already happened. It says it already happened. So you could have gotten with friends, family, and celebrated something. This is for you to have a spirit of gratitude. Okay, yeah. Creation partners, sex magic. This is something that you do with other people. So you've probably been used to doing things by yourself. This is probably a season where you're going to be working with other people. Let's see what else we got here. Maybe you guys, you know, celebrated. Y'all played cards or something like that. Um, you had a get together or something recently. What else from this deck? Whoa, that is a lot, spirit. Whoa. Let's get one more. Okay, two more. Whatever spirit say. All right, yeah, we got grace. You've been through a lot. But you made it out. You need to give yourself some grace. You're still strong. And we got a, a union here. So there's some kind of union, some kind of connecting, right? A partnership. They look like partners, dancing partners at least. At the very least, they're dancing partners. They're together. This person is trusting this man here, right? He's guiding this woman. So these two people coming together. Tell me more about this. Somebody coming in a partnership with someone. This could even be somebody shooting a shot. Where is that? What am I? Somebody shooting a shot. Then we got family here. Yeah. And then again, they're looking in the mirror. So somebody here could want something traditional. Someone is looking at themselves and saying, hey, what do I really want here? Where do I see myself in the near future? What do I want for myself? What do I really want? Not what everybody else wants for me, but what do I really want? And somebody here wants a family. It's just two people right here. But in this mirror, what they see is a big family. There's other people in the background. What else? This is what somebody here desires. What else, spirit? Oh, this card flipped over. Oh, yeah, it says trust. So you're being guided to trust your inner light, trust the divine, trust your highest self. Start seeing things from the glass half full, then I have empty. What up, spirit? Drop back up. <laughs> See if I can get y'all to stay. Anything else from this deck? We got the witch doctor here. So someone could be a, a, a kitchen witch, a white witch, a dark witch. Um, somebody's very wise. I'm also getting Libra energy from this. Somebody here could have locks. Tell me more about this. Any more? One more on this. Yeah. So somebody here is making some kind of offering. You're giving up something. Like I said, it's like a sacrifice. Somebody is being transformed. Yeah, more Libra energy. Somebody, there's something that's being made fair. Something's being made right. The scales are being balanced. Like I said, your life is coming back into balance. Okay, what goes around comes around. All right, the karmic cycle here. Okay, what goes around comes around. The wheel of fortune. We're up, we're down. We're in, we're out. Okay, but it's a constant cycle here. Okay, it's all about where you see yourself. But somebody here, I don't know, it's some kind of sacrifice here that somebody's willing to take, willing to make to in order to uh, bring this into, yeah, in order to be initiated. In order to be accepted or maybe accept themselves. Somebody's being enlightened here. I feel like it's really a, a, a spiritual awakening where you, your ancestors, your guides, and your highest self is trying to get you to do these things that you're destined to do here on earth be around the people yeah open up your heart here they're giving you the blueprint here of unconditional love how to love yourself how to love others this is like ace of cups this is like a new love opportunity an opportunity to love yourself and and others unconditionally wholeheartedly healthy very much healthy a healthy heart a healthy heart Somebody here graduated. You you recently graduated or something. You got some kind of diploma. You passed some kind of test here. Okay. What else? 
Yeah, you've done something by yourself. Yep. <laughs> so I was just about to say some kind of intergalactical out of this world mastery confirmation. You've mastered something. A miracle is here for you. You are a, a great diviner, a great divine energy. You're able to see things, feel things here. There are spirits and energies around you. Some of you are clairvoyants, intuitives, clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant. You guys see things. You're like a scribe or something. Maybe you guys write, you journal. I don't know. But look, balance again. Wizard balance, magical. You're you're able to bring things into balance, or you're recognizing that you are. That's what's going on. Let's see. Let's get another deck. Let's get the astro deck and see what comes out. But the greatest love of all is inside of you. Let's see what we got today. From the Astro deck. Yeah. You're right. I feel like you passed the test. Leo energy here. You're about to be doing something fun. You, I feel like you're now able to, you're going to be able to express yourself. You know more creatively i feel like you're going to be open or you are being told to be open to this new love this happy romance because it's twin flame energy and twin flames are you know teach us lessons we teach each other lessons what else you know how to learn how to love properly yeah look something's coming in what's incoming maybe it's your twin incoming messages Something sacred. Something sacred. Something that strength and guidance is here. You know, you're being guided to be strong with this. It's like you guys are gonna help one another. You guys are gonna help each other through this. Or someone is helping you through this. You, that's what you're receiving. Yeah, somebody here is you being told to take the lead in this situation, or somebody is, okay? Somebody's getting in line, getting things in formation, getting things together. Yeah, it's giving, I knew it, it's giving divine masculine energy. So this person here is about to take the lead and communicate. Possibly this person has been in their mind thinking about you too, okay? Um, this person is, is quick thinking. Um, I feel like this person is going to come in and say something to you. Or someone is about to come in. Hold on, let's see. What else, spirit? I feel like there's about to be an end to whatever this chaos is in your life. Or whatever this struggle is. Somebody has some adoration for you, okay? Something's about to be an upheaval. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna never be too much. Whatever this is, it's like you could be born in February. You about to have a win. It's about to be crystal clear. Okay, you about to have some kind of victory. It's gonna be made crystal clear to you. All right, there could have been something going on in February. Um, maybe you met this person or something. But something's about to be made crystal clear to you. You about to see it. Things are about to come into balance for you. If you've been struggling or something like that, things are about to come into balance. Hey there, how you doing? Let's see. What else we got? Yeah, look, it says patience. So somebody here is coming in. They're going to listen to you. They want to give you a listening ear or you're going to be a listening ear for someone. Someone wants to help or I don't know. Let's see what else we got here. But it's definitely something like that. Somebody owes you an apology or you owe someone an apology. This is how they feel. Somebody, I don't know. I feel like you left somebody speechless or something like that. 
somebody uh, um, some kind of passionate energy. Maybe they maybe your passionate energy left them speechless, or they are Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They have that in the chart. We got the whole armor of God here. Somebody's being protected. You're protected. Whatever this is, you're protected. Yeah, look, you you who you left somebody speechless, child. You they shining star. It's a touchdown. Somebody feel like they didn't touch down, or somebody feel like they didn't at the end zone, made it to the end zone, or something, or something like that. Somebody feel like it's a win. We did get victory. Remember, where's victory? Right. So you're about to, you're overcoming something. We got the law of expansion here. Yeah. Look, you're expanding. You're growing on this soul's journey here. Okay. The law of expansion states that one expands through chaos. Didn't I tell you things could have been chaotic? So you're expanding. You're growing. You're, you're past, you've passed the test. You, you passed that test, baby. Okay. Something has already happened. You passed the test. It says one expands through chaos, reorganization, and order. So there's things, things when King, things are chaotic, things are everywhere. There's no order, right? Things are out of order. So there's no organization. And so in a cycle of change and growth to create improvement. So something had to be um, brought back into balance. Something had to become organized. You had to get rid of the chaotic things in your life in order to create this new improvement in you. Okay, that is the eighth law of karma here. The law of expansion. It's something that had to change. You had to do something. You had to expand through this chaos here in, in order to realize. Which Look at this. We got eight again, you guys. So you could be seeing eight, eight. At this time, this is something that's going to happen to your finances that's going to be positive. So there could be some kind of financial increase that you experience or something like that, okay? But we got eight, eighth house energy here, okay? This is Scorpio energy. Scorpio rules the eighth house, all right? It speaks on our intimacy. It talks about our transformation. This is talking about a transformation, okay? Improving is transformation. This also speaks on our sex. I talked about being um, abstinent, you know, um, controlling those sexual urges that we get. Okay, and I know as men, it's harder for you guys as well. So then it also talks about the mystery, the mystery of things and in, in, in our inheritance, our divine inheritance. Okay, so this is, like I said, you're being given something from your ancestors about in, um, unconditional love, but it first starts with ourselves. Okay, so we got deeper love here. So I feel like some of you are being blessed with a deeper love as well, if that's what you choose to accept. Okay, eight is, oh wow, so this message for you too. Hey, my love, how you doing today? Peace and blessings to you. Um, so yeah, it's like a it's like a deep a deeper love that you're starting to understand about being here, you know, in the, on earth, you know, and, and about loving others and, and being of service to others and things of that nature. So I don't know, somebody here is, is doing a fast or something like that. But yeah, I'm telling y'all, look, we got the the five. You somebody here, you you're learning how to creatively express yourself through love. Okay, or this is what you're being told to do. You're being told to creatively express yourself. We got to express yourself. And then we have the fifth house, which is um, ruled by Leo. Okay, and it talks about our expression, our creativity, having fun, you know, the childlike energy in us. Okay, and then we got attention. So you're, whatever you're paying attention to is what is what's going to grow more. Okay, that's what whatever you're focused on is what you're going to attract. Okay, so express yourself in this fun, childlike energy here. Okay, it's, yeah, I, I feel like sometimes we as adults, um, very much serious about things all the time. Sometimes, you know, we, we be so serious cause we got to get things done. We have our priorities, you know, and stuff like that. But that inner child, that inner child in us, because we're still children to God, we're still God's children. All right. We're, we're here with free will to live, love and learn. Okay, so we can go out and do all the things that we love to do in a childlike fashion. We're, you know, children really see the world for the way that it is. And sometimes because of our experiences as adults, it gets tainted. You know what I'm saying? And because of our traumas and our experiences, we see things differently. Our, you know, and so um, we forget to really just enjoy, enjoy life and enjoy our time here. Before I get carried away, let me continue. <laughs> but I'm going to just take this one. Something new is happening. Okay, then you got a blessing right after that. Okay, there's some kind of new beginning. On its way to you. Okay, we got the Aries energy here. All right, the Aries rules the first house. It's the first um, sign in the zodiac. Um, it talks about a new beginning. It talks about our identity, our self-appearance, you know, our personality. Excuse me, um, how we ascend, you know, our highest self. That's what it speaks on. You know, starting things, being taken... 
taking charge, you know, being the leader here. Okay, so somebody here is a leader. Somebody here is about to take the lead, or you're going to have some kind of lead role or lead position or something like that. Okay, take it how it resonates. Let's see what else today. Okay, spirit, what, what, what do I do with all these? This is a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so you've been properly prepared. Or you've been told to prepare for whatever this is. Tell me more. Yeah, look. It's a long road, sweetie pie. It's going to be a long road to your kingdom spouse. Or with your kingdom spouse. I feel like you've been prepared for this, though. Because then we get a blessing. We got a new blessing. And then we got deeper love. Yeah, I feel like you're about to be blessed with a new deeper love. That's what everybody wants. Everybody want to be loved. I you lying if you're telling me that you don't want to be loved. And you lying to yourself. You can lie to me. I'm, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. But don't lie to yourself. It's a long road here. Let's see what else we got. Tell us more, Spirit. Yeah, look. It's a long road, but you're almost there. You are almost there. Something could be taken off for you in November. You could be born in November or something. I don't know. Something could have happened in November. We got this Capricorn energy here, okay? Capricorn rules the 10th house. All right, it talks about um, our ambitions. It talks about being a leader. It talks about our career, our public life, you know, being a guide. It talks about being conservative, you know, really taking charge. Somebody here is a leader. You're a boss. You could be in the military. Or your person is. And it's been a long road towards each other. It's going to be a long road together. But I feel like you have this person's heart. For those of you, um, for the love portion of this reading. Okay, somebody wants to pour into you. Well, God is sending you someone to pour into. And someone to pour into you. Okay? Let's see what else. Yeah, somebody feels like you were made. they were made to love you. Let's see what else we got. There's quite a few messages in this. What else we got today, Spirit? Yeah, somebody has pure intentions with you, okay? For some of you, this person misses you. Let's see, what else we got here, Spirit? All right. Someone here is a politician. Well, they try to do things uh, the political way. You know, you try to be politically correct here. What do we got? What is this? Oh, wow. The first law of karma, the law of neutrality. The law of neutrality states that the laws of karma apply to everyone equally. Okay, there are no exceptions because everyone is loved by God equally, deeply, and completely. So maybe you're finding the deep love of God. What else? Remember, the sun shines on the just and the unjust. Look, it came right back out. You have my heart. Somebody is giving you a seat at the table. We got at the table here. Wow. You know what I got when I heard when I saw these together? Eat your heart out. Somebody is. <laughs> yeah, it says, Eat your heart out. There's a major change happening. So somebody here. I don't know. I feel like somebody wants to spoil you. Well, this is the this is the divine. The ethers, the universe. God is spoiling you here. There's about to be a major change in your life. So get ready or you've been prepared for this been preparing for this okay you passed the test whatever this is tell me more child something has been hidden in plain sight you don't you haven't you've been so focused on other things it's been right in your face this whole time it's been right in your face it's been right there all along but you couldn't see it i'm hearing it's the simple things in life we forget you hear her talking, but don't hear what she said. How do we make something so easy, so complicated? Searching for what's right in front of your face, but you can't see it. So you're, you're looking for something that's right in your face. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like you're about to see it now. Child. No one can take your place. It says, till death do us part. So whoever this person is that's coming into your life or whoever you have in your life right now, there's nothing that's going to be able to separate you. And also what I'm needing to tell you is there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God. Because God is going to love you no matter what, unconditionally. 
we got sunset here so some the sun's going down something could be happening around sunset look at this child say like love at first sight child i don't know i feel like somebody gonna see you or like I don't know. It's gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna fall in love with something or someone. Something has been right there all along for you, and it's about to change your life drastically. Look, in three, two, one, it's on a countdown, baby. This about to happen soon. Three, two, one. This about to happen soon, child. We got the law of agreement. This is the second law of karma. This law states that the universe operates under this simple rule. All that happens is by prior agreement based on karmic justice. And didn't I tell y'all what goes around comes around with that karmic will? So you've agreed to this. Your highest self has agreed to this. Everything that you are experiencing right now, your high... Look at this. Child, it says trust the universe. Didn't I? Trust the universe. So everything's happening for you. Okay? It's happening for your good. You've already chosen this. Your high... Child, let me just continue. What else, dude? Look, infinity. <laughs> the infinity symbol to infinity and beyond <laughs> you are a professional you've had proper preparation or somebody here is a professional you're great at whatever this is that you do like i said somebody here is creative then we got the fourth law of karma which is cause and effect what one has done to others in the past lives in past lives in the past in a past life Remember, I told you you're awakening to your Akashic records, what you were doing in your past life, who you were in a past life. It weaves the karmic agreement of present and future. So remember, the karmic agreement, the karmic agreement, you guys, the law of agreement, you, whatever this was, you agreed to do this in your past life. So it's causing some kind of effect in this life, but whatever it was, you're then we got celebration. Did I say y'all about to be celebrating something? So because of something that you chose, because of something that you've done, because of this test that you've passed successfully, you're about to be celebrating, baby. Then we got to look. The seventh law of karma. The law of connection. Manifesting the people, opportunities, and events one needs will happen only if one allows, believes, and expects that it will. So let me just take some moment for this. Let me sit up close so you can see me. The people. Remember I told you there was a person coming in your life. The opportunities. Okay, God is bringing you opportunities and events. So maybe you're going to be meeting these people. You're going to be celebrating at an event or something, right? You could be meet this person at an event or these people. The people that are right for you, okay? To help you on this long road, this soul's journey here. You're bringing, God's bringing you these people. You're meeting the people. You're being brought to people and people are being brought to you. All right, but it will only happen if you allow it. You have to allow it. You have to believe it and you have to expect that it will happen all right that's the law of connection let's see what we got here what else this stuck to my hand sacred y'all i can't make this up sacred union now that could be like union with your soul tribe you know union with the your dream team you know that's going to help you create the legacy for your family that you want or it could be a personal union Right? It could be a union between you and, 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 and your creator. It could be a union between you and the love of your life. Whatever this union is, something is about to be sacred. We done already got that twice. We got sacred twice. I don't know if I need to show that to y'all again, but you did get twin flame energy and you got sacred here. All right? And you got sacred union. So, I, I, I mean, it says incoming. Child, take the lead. It's, listen. Let's see what else. Someone here could be a janitor. Are you cleaning up things? What else? Yeah, it says let them watch and let them hate. As you clean up your life, as you clean up your life, because I'm also hearing, I got to clean up what I done messed up. Started my life over again. So, let them watch and let them hate. They're going to talk about you whether you're clean or dirty. Whether you got money or you don't have money. Whether you're single or you're married. Whether you got plenty of men, whether you got plenty of women, they're they, they going to talk about you regardless. Whether you're the janitor or you own the school, they're going to talk about you. It don't matter. Let them watch. Let them hate. What else? 
Look, we got somebody here is going to be giving, like I said, something could be changing to your finances, okay? You could be receiving some kind of financial assistance. Um, Somebody here, you somebody going to take the lead. Somebody going to ask you out on a date or you're going to actually take the lead and, and create a date. You're going to plan a date or something like that, okay? Somebody here, you're going to light it up, baby. Light up their world. Somebody here could have ghosted you. We got You could have been ghosted by a Pisces. You could have been ghosted by a Pisces. <laughs> But Pisces rules the twelfth house. It talks about endings and things like that too. Okay, it's the last sign in the zodiac. Um, it talks about our subconscious, our imagination, things that are hidden. All right. It also talks about us finding closure, and it also talks about solitude, being, you know, in a period of isolation, being in a period of um, oneness. Okay. So I feel like somebody here could be meditating, you know, being in there, being in their mind and the subconscious, using their imagination because we did get the fifth house energy, the Leo energy, you know, to creatively express yourself as a child. You know what I'm saying? Using your imagination is what I'm getting from this. OK, that's what I'm getting. Using your imagination. All right. As one thing closes out, you know, things new, new beginnings. So after the 12th house, it's the first house, which is the Aries energy. Right. We got new high country established. We got new things, new, new beginnings. All right. Maybe you don't need closure. Maybe this is the closure for you. Look, we got pay raise or promotion, you guys. We already got financial assistance. We got pay raise or promotion here. We got torn in between the two. So somebody here is torn in between something. All right. Take some time for yourself and think about what you really want. Yeah, look, we got reciprocity. So somebody's about to be giving what you give. you like, should I stay? Should I go? Baby, you better go towards the new thing. Keep moving forward. Look at it. What I told y'all. Ninth house energy. Okay. Sagittarius rules the ninth house. Remember when I showed y'all that card with the nature card and it had that guy shooting that arrow. Sagittarius is the only one with a weapon here. So you are someone who likes to seek things out. You like to see things. You're a seer. I told you some of you are clairvoyant. Um, you're very, you're very gifted. Okay. Somebody here, you're you're like an endless learner. You're a professional student. Some of you could be. I don't know. You're like a philosopher or something. You're you're an endless optimist is what it says here. It says freedom seeker, travel. So you could be traveling soon or somebody's coming towards you. They're about to be crazy in love. Or you about to be crazy in love, okay, with whatever it is that you're doing. So you could be torn in between two options here, but just take some time to, you know, ask for the right guidance and for the right information and your highest self. So, okay, help me make the right decision here. But I feel like somebody's going to be, somebody about to shoot their shot. Somebody about to take the lead and just do it. Somebody about to take the lead in this situation. I like that. I like a man who's a leader now. A man that can tell me what to do can tell me what to do. Like Jill Scott said. <laughs> Yeah, we got January energy here, Sagittarius and Capricorn energy, you guys. So leader energy, you know, freedom, boss energy here. The January is the beginning of the new year. Okay, the calendar year anyway, you know, you guys. So it's like something new is happening for you. I said, I said Sagittarius, but I meant I, what I was trying to say was Capricorn and Aquarius energy. All right. So somebody here is, I don't know. Somebody, look, we got beginning at the bottom. Somebody here is wanting to pour into you, okay? Somebody here wants a new beginning, or your new beginning is here. It's not on the way, it's here. They may not look like, look at this. Aquari I said Aquarius energy, and we got the law of 11. Aquarius rules the um, 11th house. Y'all, we got whatever one can dream they can do, be, or have in the universe of all possibilities. The power lies inside. Remember I told you, the greatest love of all is, is inside of you. The highest frequency is love. Love is the highest frequency, Okay? Love never fails. Go read 1 Corinthians 13. Somebody here, I don't know, you got an OnlyFans. People watch you. Maybe your money going to be increasing on there. What else, spirit? Oh, somebody could be walking away from OnlyFans or something like that. You, Somebody here is definitely dealing with a Pisces. This is the tw second time that this has come out. Somebody here is a dreamer. You're a poet. You're like... You're destined to be of service to other people, okay? Y'all Pisces are so kind, sweet, loving, and caring to a fault sometimes. Y'all can be very much mysterious and sneaky. I've had my share of Pisces. Um, Somebody here, I don't know. Somebody here, that's a Pisces that wants to communicate <laughs> and compromise with you. Maybe you walked away from this person. I don't know, child. But take it how it resonates. What else? Let's see what this is. 
Y'all, I cannot make this up. Something's ended. Pisces energy. Something has done. There's a cycle that has completed. Okay, then we have Aquarius energy here. I told y'all Aquarius rules the 11th house. It talks about our future. It talks about our friends. It talks about um, us being original with ourselves. It talks about us being an innovator. It talks about us being rebellious. You know what I mean? We go against the grain. You do things. Okay, so there's something that you're doing here. And oh, y'all, it's like you're 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 creating something original. It's a domino effect, and spirit is here. Mm. So whatever this is that you're doing, it's like causing. It's like a chain reaction here. There's a chain reaction here about something that you're doing. Whatever this transformation is, this change that you're making to your life, it's causing a domino effect. <laughs> Y'all, Capricorn energy heavy in, in, in this reading capricorn aquarius and pisces is very heavy in this reading here capricorn aquarius pisces and aries okay we got this talk, like i said it talks about your this could have something to do with your father or just being a leader here it talks about your career your reputation you know what you are achieving here i feel like it's a domino effect that's leading to your success so these changes that these changes that you are making from the inside and out um are are really giving you a good reputation i feel like people are going to be watching you Everybody ain't gonna be happy, but you're doing great here, okay? In case you you were wondering, yeah. Somebody here, somebody's gonna help you. Financial assistance. Someone could need some help, or you're gonna be giving back to charity, okay? You're gonna be so successful, you're gonna have a charity. What else, spirit? Oh. Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. I, I I don't know. This is this is wild. This never really happens, but we got. The 12th law of karma is here. Remember this 12. You could be seeing 12, 12, or the number 12 could be significant for you at this time. Um, or you could be seeing 333, three, but something's happening. Something's over with in your life. There's something new coming. The 12th law of karma is the law of love. I've been talking to y'all about love this whole time, you guys. It's karma ends and begins with love. It starts with love and it ends with love. Its purpose of karma is to bring us all to a state of divine love, joy, and awareness. Remember, I told you the greatest love of all is inside of you. The highest frequency is love. This is teaching us to love, to be open to love, to love others freely, unconditionally. Something about a reading is significant. Maybe you need a reading or somebody's getting a reading on you or you're being told to read more. Somebody's about to help you. Somebody's coming through to pay it forward or you're being told to pay it forward when this financial blessing comes through. So maybe that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be financially blessed and you're being told to pay it forward or somebody here is going to pay it forward to you. Okay, we got my man, my man, my man. Somebody needs some kind of assistance here and you're about to get it. We got medical assistance. So I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to help you pay off some bills or help you get. I don't know. Something. I don't know. We got ask and receive, though. So whatever this is that you've been asking for, are you going to receive it or asking you shall receive? And we got the, the month of June here. So that could be significant. All right. That's the sixth month. It's, six talks about balance. You could be a Virgo too, Scorpio, I mean Virgs, okay? You could be dealing with Scorpio, but Virgo rules the sixth health, okay? It talks about our health, our fitness and stuff. So maybe you're, that's what you're doing. You know, you're, 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 you're really um, seeking out help, how to eat better. Because that did come out too, you know? I, I did speak on um, eating healthier, putting more things in your body that are healthy for you, working out, stuff like that, okay? What else, dude? Hold on, sorry. All right, it says, you were there for me at my lowest time. Somebody here, you were there for them at their lowest time. Somebody here was uncertain. Somebody here is uncertain about something. Somebody's torn in between the two. Or some kind of situation here. What is this? Okay, that's because there's some kind of interference. There's a blockage here, okay? Okay, but there's a green flag, all right? Maybe that's what to pay attention to. Like, I feel like because of what you've gone through in the past, you know, you've seen so many red flags, you forgot what the green flags look like. You can't see it. It's right in your face. You're so focused on the red, you can't see the green. You know, when people get us to say, all I see is red. All I see is red. Well, look at the green light. It's time for you to go. Green flag, let's go. This is a go. Somebody's giving you the go. Something about the government here. It says uh, reach, reaching out for help. So somebody here is going to be asking for help. This right here till the end of time. Somebody here. Somebody here is going to be with you till the end of time, baby. 
If your love was all I had in this life, that would be enough to the end of time. So rest, rest your weary heart and relax your mind because I'm going to love you, girl, to the end of time. I feel like this is God's unconditional love, okay, you guys? And also, this could be someone here being, being, being brought in your life that's going to love you, you know, till the, the end of time. Yeah, look, boom. Something's somebody's had a revelation about something okay they're about to be making some kind of gangster moves here somebody could have done something with insurance fraud maybe you're going to be receiving some kind of financial assistance through something like that i don't know somebody here works a lot though all you do is child all you do is work somebody wants to show you their appreciation through you know romance all right through this through sensual sexual things here scorpio energy again Somebody's had some kind of transformation. Like I said, you passed the test. We got a teacher here. Who's the teacher? Are you the teacher or are you the student? But here we are again with the law of attraction. Okay, that's the sixth law, the law of attraction. What did I tell you? Whatever thoughts, emotions, one focuses on the most forms their attitude. It guides their actions and creates their results. So whatever you focus on is going to make you, you're going to move it's you're gonna move towards that okay it, it's gonna it's gonna create your results so focus on the good things we got air energy here somebody here's dealing with ptsd something about march can be significant we got gumbo here and divine feminine let me see something there's a mixture of things going on in your life is what i'm getting from this but there is a divine feminine here and there's a divine masculine that already came out so there's a mixture of things gumbo is a big pot of good stuff chicken sausage shrimp crab chicken feet okra all kind of stuff up in that gumbo baby that's a good pot a good milk good that's this that's a good meal all right so something's being something's being worked together for you what else i want to be by your side every single day y'all i'm just to end it because these these energies are coming out the message is repeating and when the message is repeated is repeating itself it's just letting me know that um i'm on point with it and you guys need to take heed to it okay but aquarius energy here i know all right and we got september so you could be a virgo or a libra what else but i feel yeah you're about to be in some kind of overflow somebody about to come in through and tell you to just hop in. This could be a past person. It could be a new person. You, whether you're ready or not, okay, you're you about to do this internship, baby. Whether you're ready or not, you're about to be learning something here. Let me see what's at the bottom. Your money could be funny, okay? Somebody here could be in law enforcement. Somebody wants to gift you something, though. I'm telling you, somebody wants to gift you something. Somebody's going to be charitable towards you. They want to help you or something like that. Or this is you. Shit, I need help. I need a new job. I need new work. Yeah, somebody here's gonna make some kind of public announcement. Somebody's gonna find the courage to make this public announcement. They they can't wait to kiss you every night. So I don't know. I feel like somebody's gonna make something public about you, you two. Somebody could be flying in towards you with this airport energy. Or something's just really gonna be taken off. All right. And I I'm really getting like this summer. Things could be taken off for you guys this summer. What else we got here? I don't know why I got this thing. What is this? Yeah, look, somebody could be trying to No weapons formed against you shall prosper is what I'm getting. Okay, just know that you are protected. Look, I'm ready to show you the real me. Mask off. Somebody here is, is experiencing some kind of health issues, but I feel... Look, it says show off. Show you off. Somebody wants to show you off. Somebody here, um, you're experiencing some kind of health issues. Maybe it's like your gut, but, it, but you eating healthy, changing up your diet and things like that. Changing up your fitness routine, your health routine, your daily routines, your Virgo, your sixth health energy is going to um, help help change that. It's going to help bring your body back into balance, okay? So that's enough of that deck. Let's get one more deck, and then we'll call it, okay? So let's see. Let's do, um, let's just get the tarot deck and see what comes out. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see what comes out of the tarot today. What do we need to know? What's most important? Something flipped over. Oh, I thought it did. Okay, let's see what we got. This is for the collective. What messages do you have for? Oh, yeah, somebody's really in their head. 
somebody is wrapped up in their head they have this person has placed themselves here okay they've isolated themselves from everyone and everything around them remember we got the solitude card so if you've isolated yourself you quarantined yourself from everything and everyone around you you have yourself wrapped up in your thoughts wrapped up in your mind afraid to address your emotions afraid to address the things that are around you but ain't nobody got you there but you you gonna have to free yourself you can easily un this person ain't wrapped up tight they can easily wiggle themselves up out of this easily and you're standing outside of the kingdom you have yourself here outside of the kingdom let's see what's going on here tell me more about this Mm, we got the king of wands energy here a visionary a leader a spiritual person what's going on here so somebody could see you i feel like you see how this person they see you locked up they see you i feel like somebody about to come help you they're like you know what let me just come over there let me see what it's let me see yes this gonna surprise you honey this gonna be shocking somebody about to come through and help you What's the tower? Because this is Scorpio energy, transformation, major transformation, sudden upheaval. This is a sudden upheaval. All of a sudden, lightning struck the tower and it, it, it caught on fire and they had to jump out. They had to leave abruptly. Some of these people ain't going to make it out. Something's about to shake the foundation of something here. And some of these people ain't going to make it out, but you will. Let's see what we got here. Somebody here was a clown. Look, as soon as I said clown, look, this gesture here. Balancing things. Somebody here is doing a great job at balancing things out. Their emotions are all over the place. But you handling it. You working it, baby. Trying to figure out what to do. You could be seeing two, two, two. Somebody's figuring out how to make a decision. What should I do next? I got the whole world in my hands. What should I do next? Where should I go? I've already done this one thing and put it behind me. Where should I go next? What shall I create next? Somebody's torn in between the two. They're indecisive. They don't know what to do, where to go. Somebody's been left out in the cold. Somebody's been kicked out of the kingdom or kicked out of the house or evicted or something. Something happened. What else? Mm. Yeah, see, somebody's waiting here to see the fruits of their labor. Somebody is looking to see, okay, if, is am I going to get a return on my investment here? Tell me more. Somebody's trying to figure out where to invest their, their time and their energy and their creativity into. There's a lot of competition, a lot of gossip, a lot of fighting about this. What's this five of wands? Heard five of five of wands. Yeah. So this person's walking away from the competition, walking away from the conflict, from the confusion, from the chaos. Somebody's walking away from the confusion, from the chaos. They, they put a lot into this. We got eight, eight again, you guys. Somebody, somebody here, um, they're walking away to find their highest self towards their wish fulfillment. Okay. They're going from the eight of cups to the nine of cups. The nine of cups isn't out here, but it's coming. Hey, DST. How you doing? Beautiful. So yeah, somebody here is, um, walking away to go find themselves, to find their highest self. You guys remember we got the highest self card to find out what it is that I'm really here for. I feel like somebody's answering the call. Somebody here is trusting their intuition with this moon energy here, with their Pisces energy here. Somebody here, child, Scorpio, Cancer energy with these water. But these cups are empty. There's no, nobody is filling this cup up anymore. These cups are empty. This person leaving that behind. Let's see what else we got. They're no longer pouring into that situation or those people or those things. This person is transformed, honey. Look at this. This person is working on themselves. They're working on being truthful. They're working on telling the truth. They're cutting things out of their life that are no longer healthy for them. This person is doing the work. This is surgery. Somebody could be having surgery as well. So somebody could be having some kind of health issues that's going to have surgery. This could be you or someone in your life. But somebody here is doing the work and there's a new journey here. All right. Somebody doing the work, child. This is that Aquarius energy. This is that Capricorn Virgo energy. 
Somebody is doing something. Somebody, God, I feel like God's doing a major work on you. Mm hmm. Let's see, what else? Yeah. The magician here. Somebody is taking what they got, what they learned, everything that they got, and they're creating a new life. You're using your magic. There we go. The infinity symbol is here. Okay, we already we already went through some of the laws of karma. Right? You're powerful, a powerful magician. Somebody's awakening to who they are. And they're saying, you know what? I got the skills to pay the bills. Let me go ahead and free myself. I'm hearing this is the piece that you cannot buy. Find me in love. Okay, y'all know that song by Tim's Free Mind. You need to free your mind here. You're going to have to free, free your mind. I'm also hearing that free your mind and the rest will follow. I know that's a racist song. It's a song about racism, but free your mind and the rest will follow. Somebody here is really caught up in their mind in this Eight of Swords energy. You know, that's, it's, it's more than meets the eye here, you guys. It's like, like I said, somebody's awakening to the spiritual realm here. You know, it's not just about our physical. It's about the spirit as well. I feel like somebody is waking, awakening to that. You're mastering. You're mastering something here. Tell us more, spirit. Give us more information on this. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Something is done. You've wrapped up something. A cycle has been completed. I told y'all, you passed the test. You. This is the end and this is the beginning. This is the end of the tarot. This is the beginning. So there's a new beginning here. You've wrapped up something. Maybe people are even going to be watching you on the internet, on the World Wide Web. Something had flipped over. Yeah, look. We got the sun here. Leo energy. Creativity. Expression. This is the happiest card in the deck. Things are about to be on the up and up for you. Okay? The number 19 could be significant, which breaks down to a 10. Endings. Capricorn energy. 10th house energy. I feel like you're taking charge here in your life. Okay? You're a boss. Is what you, you a boss. Look. 888. Incoming. This is incoming. We got the incoming card. Go back and watch it. We got incoming, something coming through. Something passionate, fiery, lots of communication. Lots of opportunities coming your way. So get ready for this. Look, enlightenment. Pisces energy here again with this um, hangman. Let's see what else. Mm. Look at this, y'all. Past life love. Past love. Energy. This is love. Reciprocity. Equal give and take. A new romantic partnership. A collaboration. This is something familiar. This this is like nostalgia energy here. You guys were together in a past life. Y'all have past life energy. You see how she, when they were kids, he gave her the cup. Now she has her own cup to give. He has a cup to give. Reciprocity. Equal give and take. Something's coming in for you. A sacred union. It's coming in fast. Somebody's your knight in shiny armor. Yeah, happiness, stability, love, and money, generational legacy, wealth, a healthy family, a healthy marriage, healthy businesses, right? This is like 10 million, 10 billion dollars here. That's beautiful. What else, spirit? Look, somebody's rushing in with this communication here with this night of um, swords energy. They have something to say. They, they coming in, baby. Yeah. Somebody, divine judgment has been called. They got something to say, something to prove. They're coming in to take the lead. Because they want this with you. Well, this is what you're destined to have, a legacy. You're destined to be successful here, okay? This, moving in silence. Moving in silence. You're the empress. Sagittarius energy here with the temperance, okay? Y'all, I'm supposed to end it here because this is just repeating itself, like, I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over. You're destined to have this. Somebody's coming in to help you. You're about to have some kind of love or some kind of collaboration or partnership. Like your life is about to change. A major change. It's, it's going to be, I don't know. Some of you are going to be in, in, in the spotlight, in the public eye. People are going to know you. They're going to recognize you. You're going to be helping people. You're going to be speaking to people. It's going to be something like that, you guys. So this is great. Um, whatever this is, these sacrifices and things that you're making or these things that you're having to sacrifice, this transformation that you're going through, it's beautiful. You're going to be so... People ain't going to even recognize you after you come out on the other end of this. They're going to be like, wow. That's so-and-so. Like, wow, man. You used to... Yeah. My man, look at you now, though. That's how people are going to be. They're going to be so shocked. 
Some people are not going to like it. Some people, you know, some people are going to love it. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is how you see you and how God sees you, okay? So I hope that this message has brought you guys some kind of clarity, confirmation, insight, or just overall entertainment, you guys. I love y'all, but God loves you more, okay? And if y'all don't do anything else, dream big, wake up, do it. I'll see you next time, you guys, okay? Have a wonderful day.